I always gotta bring my power bank. Welcome everyone, my name is Kai and I love to explore life through solo travel, camping and hiking and overall well-being. This channel is a way for me to document my explorations and share pieces of it with you. I travel by plane, train, ship or automobile and I started this journey in a very small vehicle until it broke down in the state of Alabama. But now I travel in my Jeep Cherokee and I would love for you to subscribe and become an explorer with me. Hey everyone, my name is Kai and welcome to my channel. Today I am bringing y'all along with me as I get ready to get my vehicle ready for camping. I travel, camp, hike, do explorations in this 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo. One of the issues that I have in actually going out and doing something is the getting and the going <laughs> getting ready and then actually going so i was curious to see how long it would take me to get my vehicle prepped so i can get out of this thought process of like it's going to be such a hassle to do it so that's why i'm doing this today and that's why i'm recording it normally i would speed the whole video up to show what I'm doing, but this time I'm not gonna speed it up. I'm just gonna actually record in real time everything that I'm doing so I can show how long it takes me to convert this SUV that I use every day into a SUV camping vehicle. Summertime is the hottest time of the year and it is probably the worst time to actually do camping. And since I can't go camping today, this weekend, because of the heat, I am going to at least prep my vehicle and get it ready for next weekend in hopes that it won't be too hot. If not, <laughs> this bad boy is just gonna sit in his garage until the weather is tolerable. Right now, there's a lot of things that I gotta remove because as y'all know, we have a new baby in the house. And so let me show you what the vehicle looks like before I start getting it ready and prepped. I always gotta bring my power bank. And this is the Blue Eddy battery power bank. This is always my trusty old bag of the things that I want. And the very first thing that I have to do is put this seat down. I move it all the way up as far as it will go and I sit my Blue Eddy on top here to make sure that I have easy access to it. Now to tackle the back seat. So right now, the base of the baby seat is in here because my daughter was using a vehicle um, of the run errands and things like that. So I'm gonna take this out of the vehicle. So let me show y'all how messy it is back here right now.
this part is in decent order and now time to lay the bed down. This is the current state of the back and we're going Go ahead. to head and get this taken care of like right now. A lot of times this gives me anxiety trying to get this vehicle ready because I'm thinking that it's so strenuous, but it's not. <laughs> so now I'm going to move these up to the front. Okay, the back seat is down. Now all I gotta do is set up the bed. Now that the bed is laid out, now time to get everything else situated. I will not be taking this camping chair the next time I go camping because I have a new camping chair that I will show y'all um, on a video where I'm doing a review of a camping chair. So I'm taking this big one out for now and I will use this for other things, but to make more room in my vehicle, I'm gonna go ahead and take this big boy out. go camping I'm going to be having this out of the box and up front um, for possible fires which I don't ins I don't foresee happening but I'm I'm only keeping it in the box when I travel but then when I mean when I'm not traveling but when I'm camping it will come out of the box and be set up front What makes sleeping in my vehicle the best sleep ever is when I bring from my home exactly what I normally sleep on. And so this pillow is my favorite pillow. It's a cooling pillow, plus it is, you know, kind of firm, it's very firm. And so, especially in the summertime or warmer temperatures, it really helps as well as, and I only do white 
sheets and things like that because it doesn't hold as much heat. Now you know, in the summertime, I'm not going to have a blanket on at all, but you better believe it, Baltimore Ravens, y'all. All right, and it's ready, ready for car camping, or should I say SUV camping. And it's all done. Y'all, I am done. It's finished. <laughs> and now all I gotta do is just pull out the garage and go car camping. So I hope you gain some information or ideas in getting yourself ready to car camp. Setting it up at home before you leave will make the actual camping experience a lot easier and flow a lot better. At least I know it does for me when I do it from home and then go out on my adventures or my explorations. I hope y'all like my setup because this is basically the only one that I'm gonna be using because it's very easy to just lay everything down and set everything up. But sometimes I can make it more complicated than it really is. <laughs> but. That's how I am. If you like this type of content and other camping, explorations, hiking, and travel um, adventures, I would love it if you would subscribe, like, comment, and engage with me. And I would love for you to become part of my community. In the meantime, everybody, good mental health, good spiritual health, and as always, good physical health. Y'all take great care.